into line. Attention! At ease. Take off your glasses. Welcome, new recruits. My name is General Fakwa, and I will be your coordinator for the rest of your stay here. This is the 300 boot camp. Here you will learn discipline, respect, patience, tolerance, teamwork, and endurance. There is no escape. Once in 300, always in 300. Trust me, this will not be easy. Are you walking to my line? Double up! Down! Front jump! One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two! Are you laughing, woman? No, sir! As I was saying, this will not be easy. Some of you will cry. You will want to quit. You will beg for your mothers. <laughs> you will want to go home. But trust me, I promise you, and at the end of this exercise, you will come out stronger, better, smarter, wiser, and ready to serve. So, file out now in twos, and I will take you to your dormitories. Attention! What? 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 Double up! Double up!
typical day on a Sunday, we will get to church and we pray together. It brings us to about 9.30 a.m. in the morning when we will go to the banquet hall, if that's where service is holding, and we will strategize. Our team lead for the day will now distribute responsibilities to the greeters, to the waymakers, to the guys that are going to handle the pastor's door, and then, if necessary, to the protocol team too. So we run the service up to the point where we will take offerings, and then the sermon is done. And then if there's need to have an interactive uh, service during church, we'll also be on hand to pass the microphones around. And then at the end of the service, we ensure that people live in an orderly fashion. 300 is an amazing group of people. I've come to fall in love with 300. That's a cool. Cool. That's what makes, makes us different. I feel like since I joined 300, we've grown from strength to strength. If you actually watch members of 300 during the service, you can see that they're actually friends. Eventually turned into a community, eventually turned into family. It's family to me. You talk about all the issues, you talk about everything you talk about. They're my brothers, they're my sisters, and I will take a bullet for any one of them. It's just very different. I guess it's the lack of uniform. <laughs> I can call anyone and ask anything. If I get a call at 11.30 in the night from a member of my unit saying that they need help, I have no choice, I have to get up. We have become a really tight unit. We hang out outside church, in fact, over hang out. So we have BB groups, people put scriptures on the group, so it just helps you yourself to grow. We have fun. We have fun. Like we'll still do breakfast, we can have lunch, we can have dinner, we can share in communion as well. And then there are no factions in 300. Everyone is just friends to everyone. I don't think I'd rather be in any other unit anyway. Um, the only thing which might have constituted a challenge at the beginning would probably be having to get to church a little earlier than usual. Having to stand for almost the whole service. And I think it's also taught me to be patient. Try to be more tolerant and more accepting. I think it also made me a bit more friendly. And then obviously now that because I'm an usher and I have to greet everyone in church. Oh, I see an army. I see a community. I see souls. Souls that will pass through 300 and be transformed. Be transformed so much so that they will become leaders in TWB. They will become pillars in the house of God. That mindset is what has been implanted in my mind because I know that to really grow you need to serve and in that service you definitely find the person that you are. I pray more in general to be honest I pray more. Things are falling into place for me. I, I, there's, there's so much clarity in my life. And God blesses people who work for him and I see God's hand in my life every day. In less than a year I have grown in every aspect of my life. It's amazing. And I know that I'm where I am, not because of my own doing, but because of God. So I'm happy to serve God. So generally speaking, if there's anybody sitting under the influence of my voice that wants to join 300, and you have gone through Cafe Rouge, please, please, please come. Come. There will be a desk at the end of the service at the back of the church, and we'll be more than willing to accept you.